Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you a product that's pretty much been a staple of our business for the last few years. I think this is our third or fourth set. It's one of them. I use a lot of flashes and a lot of strobes. So if you do, you might want to look into this because I don't know if you guys remember back in the days of Novatron and white lightning and those things that were so expensive to buy light. But this is a flashpoint. It's made by Godox. This has flashpoint on it because Adorama makes their own brand. And it is a Blaze Series Studio Flash. I believe it's the 200 model. Yeah, it's the 200 model. And if you got a, if you got a gigantic studio, these might not be strong enough. Might go a bit stronger, but I shoot in pretty small studios, or I'm shooting in people's houses, so I can get you know pretty good lighting in small areas. But I use them a lot too. Like when we go do senior portraits, that sort of thing, I take three of these and put one in the background. One is the main light. One is the fill light. This is it right here. One is the main light, one is the fill light. It comes off right here. You can see you've got your you got your strobe right here. And then when you're carrying it, you got this to it to protect it. But what's cool about it is what but what's cool about it is you've got the Boeing's Boeing's mount. So it just fits on the umbrella. I think I've got that uh, newer umbrella I showed you guys the other day. I'll show you real quick how about it does. You grab your umbrella. This is what I said about the other day that I like. So I'm not. I won't unfold it, but you can just take it, line it up, put it in there. Now you're connected. Open your umbrella up. One, you're good to go. And it's got all the settings on the back. It don't have power to it right now, but um, you run power to it. It's got all the settings. You can control it with your Godox flash, your transmitters, um, even the flashes the v1 you can control it with that or you can have a transmitter and control this the v1 and multiple of these so it's a great little setup and i think they're like 109 dollars and the quality that you get from these is just fantastic um, when we shot the seniors at one of the bigger schools this year we set up two different studios at the same time used all the same light and uh, it, was, it worked out great so I ended up breaking one of these because I'm pretty tough on stuff. I get pretty tired and I start throwing stuff around. So, <laughs> but I did break one. It's my fault. But luckily, they're only about a hundred bucks and they work great. So I'm sure I'll buy a few more this year. We go through them pretty fast. They don't necessarily break. They don't quit working. It's the damage that I do to them that causes the problems. I'm kind of that way in a lot of stuff though. So I try not to. I'm trying as I get older to move a little slower. Don't break everything that I put my hands on. Kind of like a bull in a china shop sometimes, but hey, this is the Flashpoint, otherwise known as Godox Blaze 200. Godox has a 200 also. I think it's called maybe the MS 200. I think it'll look just like this, except it'll just say Godox instead of Flashpoint on it. So it has a really fast recycle time. Um, and if you're shooting in a small area, you can turn the power down so you can shoot at like 1.8 with the background. So and if you need a lot of power, um, say you're trying to get it to F22, you can get pretty close to run up high. Um, if you need it, if you need F32 or 22 from a good distance away, you probably need something a little stronger than this. But this works just great for what we do with them. So hey, check them out. And hey, if we're helping you guys out, hit subscribe. And don't forget about Monday. Tell your friends and family that just got cameras on to learn how to use them to tune in Monday. And we're going to start our learning episode. Y'all have a good day.